Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Football Manager 2019. Uh, and it is now, well, 2021 in game. January 2nd of 2021, which means that our boy Nathan Phillips here from Stevenage at a 42.5 transfer fee has now officially joined the team. Um, if you don't remember, Stephen, uh, Nathan Phillips here, sorry, is a four-star current ability four and a half star potential ability. He's going to be just amazing. He's got a 7.32 average rating right now. Um, coming in here from Steven, it's 20 appearances. Uh, he's even got a goal apparently. I think he's going to be a lights out, excellent, excellent player for us. I'm really hoping for some good things from him going into, uh, yeah, going into the rest of the season. Um, he is currently at 83% condition. He's actually 100% sharpness. So, I mean, the fact that he's been playing, he we don't have to worry about that at all. But at 83% condition, we will probably not actually play him against Stevenage after all. I thought that would have been kind of a kind of a fun thing to do, but since the game is literally right now, um, it doesn't look like we're going to be playing him. We'll hopefully play him in the uh, in the next game though. So, um, anything I else wanted to show off? I don't think so. Uh, I got a renewed contract, uh, so there's that. Uh, St uh, Steve Ash here, who has been out on loan, he's been doing really well. He, uh, we went ahead and got him uh, an extra uh, two-year extension, actually. Um, so that should, uh, hopefully, he'll stick around for quite a while. Uh, other than that, uh, let's go look at the schedule. Yeah, um, good news, bad news, I guess. Um, good news is, is we have not lost a Sky Bet League 2 game since uh, October 24th. So over two months now, we have not lost a single game. But bad news is we haven't been winning a lot either. <laughs> Look at all the draws. I mean, it's just been absolutely crazy. I mean, to be fair, if we go back all the way to this game right here, you know, let's go back to that far. And, um, you know, we want to win our home games and draw our away games. So how many home games do we have in there? We had one, two, three, four home games. So we would want four wins. And we got one, two, three. We got four wins. So we got four wins on the four home games. We would have wanted to draw all the away games, which, I mean, mathematically, we drew the rest of the games, obviously. So in a way, we got the expected number of points. But, I mean, come on. We would have loved to have still any of these games to, um, to get us just a couple more points here and there. And that would have been so good. But good news is we are pretty good form going into this game against Stevenage, followed by the one against Northampton. Both of these are going to be really tough games. Sixth place, second place. But if we think we are who we think we are, you know, if we think we are capable of being in playoffs, then honestly, I think we should win at least one of these games. At least one of these games we should be winning. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, speaking of the competition overall, we are just right here on the line in seventh place. So we really do need to get a couple wins to really secure our position here in the playoffs, which is really what we want. So let's go ahead and go over to the match here and uh, see what's going on. Um, I mean, pretty even matchup here against Stevenage, all things considered. Uh, I guess one good thing, even if we don't play um, the new guy that we just picked up, uh, at least he's not playing for Stevenage right now. So I guess we can have take that as a as a positive positive thing for us let's check out the um the uh team itself uh wasi carl pond i mean wasi we're going to bring in here just to kind of just a little bit of a rotation here um he's also been asking for some play time i, I think it's going to be okay i hope um technically dudley's been asking for some play time as well but he just does not play well in this position i don't think is there a position that we could play him in up here where he would be okay. Not really. So I think we're just going to have to figure out how to play Dub Dudley uh, differently. Uh, I am going to go ahead and bring Gaffney back in here, though. He does look like he is back, ready to rock and roll. McFarlane, Rooney, Pritchard, Cool, Matthews. I think those are okay. Wasi, Carl, Pond, and Ture. Ture has just been lights out. I'm really hoping for some things from him. Um, look at that. 7.36 last five games, 7.19 average rating. We are not playing Lloyd right now. I have him on the bench, which is, I think, a really good thing. I do need to do a little bit of um, something here because 
we don't have anybody to sub in the midfield at the moment. So with Lloyd in here, I think we'll swap out Collins here. Let's bring... Uh, I wish we could bring Arresti in. He's still pretty beat up at the moment. I guess we'll bring... We don't actually don't have a lot of midfielders. I just realized. Wow. Got a lot of defenders. Too many defenders. We're going to have to do some, some uh, house cleaning at some point. But I guess we'll bring... Um, tempted to bring Nobby in here. He's been playing real pretty well actually overall. You know what? Let's do that. Let's bring Nobby up here in place of Collins. Um, Dudley could probably stay in there. If, if force comes to worst, we could bring him in to a uh, striker role. Moncrief is technically in there as well. At least we have a midfielder we can swap around and do something with. And, if, and again, also, if something else comes up, we can always go to our 4-2-2, 4-2-4, I should say, uh, and bring Lloyd in and things like that. It's kind of mix things up. So I think this is going to be okay. Um... And again, where's our new guy? Um, where's he at? Phillips, 83%. Probably just a little too too fatigued. Let's just let's save him. Let's make sure he's ready for our next game, which is going to be a tough game as well. All right, let's get to the let's get to this uh, this match. Come on, Carl. You've done really well for us in the past. Really hoping for some good things from you. Pond's been playing really well. Uh, Wasi, I'm just a little concerned about, but hopefully he uh, he shows up. He wants some play time. We'll see if he deserves it. Uh, let's encourage the team here. Let's, um, it's all over to you just to have a good one, guys. Just, just nothing, no pressure here. I just want you guys to just do your best. We, we, we have a chance here. We pause for just a second. Let's just bump this back down and go to extended highlights. And here we go. We are off. Stevenage obviously gets the ball first here. Oh, this is a home game, guys. Come on. Let's, let's do this for the fans. Let's, let's let the fans, you know, just... They came out here. They packed the stands. They're ready to cheer you on. Let's see what we got. This 4-3-3 is... I don't know. It's its not giving us a lot of chances, but it's been doing okay. I mean, there's a, a chance there for McFarlane. Fortunately, we didn't have anybody over here that he could have passed to. If he did, he might have been able to get a goal off of that. He had to kind of do that by himself. Matthew's here with the corner kick. Uh, Rooney was over in the area, not really able to do anything with that. Pritchard over to Carl. Carl, what you're going to do with it? Carl gets tripped up here. Wish he was in the box here. That would have been a penalty for us, but nothing going here. It's going to be a free kick here from Carl. Carl. Oh, I made the goalkeeper die for it. But yeah, this 4-3-3, I mean, we, it's been good enough to get us some draws. So I guess there's that. We've been getting some goals off of it, to be fair. But just not, maybe not quite as good as I was hoping. Ture, though, with a goal, man. Ture is just, with an assist from Wasi. Wasi is uh, showing that he's on here for a reason. So, yeah, that was excellent work from Ture. That's what you want to see right there, starting this game off. That being said, that's how a lot of these games have started. Us going up with a goal or two, and then just ending up with a draw in the end. Although, we draw these two games against sixth place and second place. I mean, I would accept that, because it's, you know, it's it's at least still more points. I really want at least a win here in one of these two games. This would be just show that we, we deserve to be here. It's starting to rain here a bit, so... We'll see how that affects uh, the team. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Nibs, Nibs. Woo, Crocom. Thank you, buddy. Somebody came offering some money for Crocom. It was only like seven, eight thousand uh dollars for the fee, but uh, so we really didn't want to give him up, especially with Steve Ash still on loan. Um, but going into next season, if Steve Ash looks like he's getting some advancement. Oh, McFarland's breaking free here. Is he going to be able to do it? Nope, nope, just nothing going there. I mean, he just couldn't do it by himself. But yeah, if Steve Ash, uh, you know, looks like he's he's shaping up to be pretty good, then we will probably start him next season. Now, he does have a couple um, uh, free kick seniors. Okay. Really? McFarland? Okay. He has a couple components in his uh, in his contract where he's starting off like pretty low, $27,000 a year. But if he uh, subsequently, like, subsequently at 10, 15, and 20 games played, he gets, you know, slightly increasing uh, pay up to, I think, 52000 at the 20-game uh, mark. So if we actually start using him, then he will get about $52,000 a year, which honestly, if he's being used and he's playing well, I, I think he well deserves the 52. Unfortunately, Nibs here, ooh, about to draw that thing up. That was scary. We do have currently nine shots, four on target. Playing relatively okay. Uh, come on, guys. We can't let them have that one. Give that one up. We should have taken that one away from them. Come on. McKee over here, pushing the ball up. Nothing going to there. It is out of bounds for a throw in. Let's at least go into halftime up one nothing. Help you know, a little bit of momentum here. 
Another yellow card for the other team now. Trey, come on, buddy. Keep it up. Uh, Giorgio, Giorgio, or Giorgio, or something like that. Ferry looked like he was way offsides. I think if he had gotten his foot on that one, I think he might have been called offsides. Crow, come here. Deep kick. Up to... Uh, there we go. I was going to say, are we going to be able to get control of this? Oh, we had it for a second. Gaffney got it taken away from him, though. No good. Come on, guys. Let's get this one back. Stay back. Defend a little bit. Let's just hold on to this. I know we're currently on a positive mentality, but this is a home game. That was a very weak, weak kick there. Almost like a pass to Crocom at that point. All right. Uh, looks like they are going to get control of this one again. Here comes uh, Stevenage on another uh, attack. Uh, we were able to do, do, you know, disrupt it a little bit. Unfortunately, only as far as their player. Went out of bounds, though. Back to us. Ah, there we go. Pritchard getting away of that one. That's good. McFarlane kicking it up to Rooney. Rooney gets tripped up. Oh, it's an excellent tackle, huh? Was it now? Fine. We'll give him that one. Georgiou. Over to Bernard. Bernard to McKee. Back to Georgiou. Come on, guys. Got three. Oh, got it. Taken away from by Pritchard from behind. That's good. Matthew's kicking it pretty deep. McFarland. Oh, really? I thought. I actually think you could have gotten there in time. If you guys had booked it, but maybe not. Maybe they just didn't have quite the jump they needed. Lewis kicking it pretty deep here. Are we going to be able to get it? No, Nibs is going to get right behind our defensive line here. Guys. Okay. Whew. Thankfully, that went out of bounds, but man, guys, come on. Focus up. Only three minutes left in this half. Let's go into this half. Not giving up a goal here, guys. Uh, okay. Free kick. I was going to say. <laughs> Technically, I think went in the back of the goal, but did not count for anything. Uh-oh. Pond. He's going to be in trouble here. Definitely McFarlane. Ease off your tackles. Not very often that our strikers get penalties. Pond getting a penalty here, though, or a yellow card, I should say. Stevenage fans are furious. Man, this this is going... Matthew getting a yellow card. Uh-oh. We're getting lots of yellow cards all of a sudden. Two minutes of extra time here. I guess that is going to be it, maybe. It's going very slow. There we go. Half time. Uh, good conversion to the final third. Very low possession for us, though, to be fair. So, really giving up a lot of possession for to the other team. All right, come on, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm pleased with how things are going. Let's keep it up. Let's just let's hold on to this one nothing, you know, spot here. I'm okay with that. Over to Pond. Pond's going to kick it pretty deep up. Gaffney's in the area, but not going to be able to get to it in time. That is the end of that opening highlight. Looks like McKee might be getting a penalty here. Oh no, he did not. Not a penalty. I keep saying penalty. Yellow card. Uh. Bouncing around. Rooney picking it back up. Going over to back over to Matthews. Matthews trying to get back inside. Pond's in the area. Rooney's it right there. He was right there. Could have put his foot on it. Booted that one in, but unfortunately not able to get that to happen. Lewis with a goal kick here. Pritchard able to get his head on it. Over to McFarland. McFarland just passes it over to Georgiou. That is not the way to do that, guys. Guthrie behind the lines. He's about to get his goal. Ties it up. This is how the story of the last four or five games has gone. We go up. Things are looking good. And then we just give it up. Just give it up on plays like that. Man. Oh, man. Come on, guys. All right. Steven is again on the assault here. They're really, really kind of bringing it... Uh, Nibs, there he is, going, trying to get behind our line again. Over to Bernard. Bernard trying to get it across. Oh, no, no. There it goes. Our, uh, yeah. So there you go, guys. And that's the story of, well, I mean, if this goes the way this other things have gone, we'll, we'll, we'll should tie it up here. But this game is actually not really looking the way I, uh, I was hoping. Come on, guys. Let's get get another one here. Or give up another one. Goodness. I'm going to shout. Let's go demand more. Come on. We, we deserve better than this, guys. Come on. Farland playing absolutely terribly right now. Okay. Um... Yeah.
I think we got to swap around. I think we've got to. I think we've got to come over here, go to our four two four. I just I think it's time. Uh, who's playing better, Cool Pritchard or Matthews? Pritchard six point four, Matthews six point seven, Cool six point eight. So Cool definitely. Bring Cool back over here, uh, and then we'll swap Pritchard out for. Uh, Lloyd over here. Bring him in. Come on, guys. This will automatically switch us to an attacking mentality. So I'm hoping this will do something for us. Uh-oh. Giorgio receiving a lecture, apparently. That's about all he received. Wasi kicking it pretty deep here. Gaffney's in the area. He's got a chance here. Kick it over to McFarlane with the goal. What? Now, was that before or after our, our change? <laughs> we got it tied back up, though. Wow. Um, I don't know. No. Yes. Let's go ahead for it. Let's let's go for it. I want the win. Oh, off somebody's head. It looked like it went off his head or something. That was funny. Anyway, uh, come on, guys. We need this. We need this. We are attacking. So we are a chance we could give something up here. Unfortunately, I'm really hoping though that the boys really push this, get some possession here. Kicking it real deep here. Kennedy's going to be able to get over to it. He's going to be able to kick it over inside. Oh, nope. Torrey was able to take that away from him. Going to get over to Lloyd. Fresh legs, Lloyd. Pushing the ball up. Trying to run past his man. Over to McFarlane. McFarlane got some space here as well. Unfortunately, just off the man in front of him. And that is it, unfortunately. Come on, guys. Let's get this one back. Nope, nope. Nibs is back behind our line again where he's been all day. He's going to kick it over to uh, Guthrie. Guthrie back to Nibs. Nibs trying to do something with it. Off the guy in front of him. Uh, unfortunately, he is who? Uh, disallowed. Okay. Woo. Good. Come on, guys. We've got their star defensive player. We need to. We need to get this one. We need to take uh, take this to them. Uh, yeah, definitely ease off tackles. Pawn, please. Got a kick from Georgiou. Nibs is. Oh my goodness. Wow. Show some passion, guys. Come on. This is your home fans. Oh, boy. Maybe I shouldn't have made swaps around and stuff. Who knows? Pond, not playing that well. Does have a yellow card. Let's bring on Kelleher. See if he can show something before he gets put onto the bench permanently with our new guy coming on. Man. The team says they're fired up, but they ain't doing much of anything right now. Got to throw in from trade over to McFarland. McFarland, Matthews, Matthews, not really doing much of anything with that, unfortunately. And of course, there's Nibs, good old Nibs, just at the right place at the right time at all times. Of course he is. Over to Kennedy. Kennedy's pushing it up. Nibs is going to get behind our line again. There he is, getting behind our line, wide open. There's Kelleher though, showing that he's got a little bit of energy coming in. Fruk, uh, Crocom, able to kick that, hit, tap that one above the net. Only 10 minutes left, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Georgiou. Crow comes able to pick that one up. School very attacking. Let's just... We need to do something here, guys. Try to rescue at least the draw, which is... Wow. Uh, a bunch of swaps here. Actually, Nib's coming off. Uh, we got a free kick here. Free kick here, sorry. Say from Stevenage. Uh, Crow comes able to pick that one up, thankfully. Our team is very frustrated right now. I don't blame them. It's not a time to get frustrated. It's time to get get some goals, guys. Come on. Got to throw in for Wasi. Is he going to be able to get it to his man? Gaffney's in the area. He's able to get over to Matthew. So maybe we're going to get an attack here. Matthew's going to be able to get it over to Lloyd. Ooh, I thought that he was going to get that, cough that one up. Lloyd kicking it up. Rooney's in the area. Is he going to be able to get it? McFarland? No, nobody's there. Lloyd able, though, to get to there. Ro Gaffney. Gaffney has been just... Playing so well the last few games uh, since he came back from that that was, you know few injuries that he had. Uh, back to a draw for the moment. We are going to drop back down to. I'm just going to drop down to positive at this point. If we can hold on to the uh, the draw, I guess I will call that a win. Although here they come again, Stevenage on the attack.
Bernard right there, ready to roll. McKee is going to try and throw a kick at the goal. Whoa, Crocum awake, ready to snatch that one. Oh, come on, guys. I want this win. Carl picking up your man. We got a lot of yellow cards this game. Steven has changed to a 4-3-3, which is what we changed from. Bernard throwing it in. Wasi is able to get his head on that one, although only as far as Bernard. Uh, we're not able to pick that one up. Kennedy over to McKee. McKee. What's going on, guys? About two minutes left. Let's not give something up here. McKee back over to Kennedy. Kennedy going to try and kick it up to... Oh, Lloyd's in the area. Unfortunately, not able to do anything with it. Kelleher getting that one out of the way. McFarlane's able to come up with that one. McFarlane's going to kick it all the way over to Rooney. Rooney, unfortunately, just couldn't control that one. Headed up too far. Nobody was in the area. And here comes Stevenage again. Stevenage is going to kick it over here. Ravel, wide open over here. Uh, thankfully, we were able to just deflect that one out, so it's going to be a corner. But, shoo. All right, we're going to get a throw in here from Wasi. Cool, able to keep control of that one. Kicking it pretty deep up. Unfortunately, our guys are not in the area. Not really. Guthrie getting behind our lines here. Uh, Carl, apparently it was an inch-perfect tackle. We'll take it. Gaffney up to nobody. Nobody. <laughs> At least nobody in a red shirt. Uh, McFarlane. Matthews. Matthews pushing it up. we got 12 seconds left. Matthews going to get it up to Rooney. Rooney's got some space. Got some... Oh, my goodness. So close. We're going to have a corner, I think, before the whistle blows. This is our last chance right here. Lloyd. Carl was in the area. Big old tall Carl. He's gotten a couple like that. Man. I mean, Stevenage is ahead of us, getting a draw. It's not the worst result in the world, but and we did fight back. I guess I'm happy. I mean, there were some positives for sure. Oh, I wanted that win so badly, though. All right. All right. What we got going for us here? Excuse me, just the mic. I mean, we're barely holding on to this seventh place spot here. We need, we need a win to secure secure playoffs at this point. Goals galore. McFarlane ends gold drought. I didn't realize he was on a gold drought. That makes uh, 10 hours of competitive soccer. Really? Has it been that long? He's just not been playing well lately. All right. At the very One good thing is we should have our good new star defensive player in place ready for this next game. So that is going to be a pretty huge win. I think I'm going to stick with the 4-3-3 at least to start with. Again... Uh, I mean, it didn't. It wasn't bad, honestly. The couple of the goals we gave up were just almost gimmies. Uh, although that being said, I do want it to be. I think I want to go back to more counterplay. I think I felt like it was more, or cautious is what they call it now. I felt like it was just a little bit better uh, in that in that type of setup. We'll see you know, what the coaches say if they argue with us. Oh, Northampton. It's actually about a week away, so hopefully most of our guys should be fully rested up, ready to rock and roll. Delivery. Uh, 22-year-old midfielder from the U.S. of A. Uh, no transfer interest. Doesn't want to sell. N.A. I mean, we are a little bit low on midfielders, but... Uh, Let's we'll acknowledge it. That's going to be fine. Probably not good enough to justify paying too much for. This guy you know, has got some potential, but no. Nah. We'll just acknowledge that's going to be fine. Man, Northampton should be an interesting game. I guess I keep saying Northampton, but there's not a second H there. So I guess it's Northampton. Is that, is that what it is? Honestly, I don't know. I know everybody has very different ways that they say, pronounce different things. Um, my, my general take on pronunciation is, if you know what I mean, then it did its purpose. <laughs> but I know some people are very passionate about their pronunciations. Um, so, I, I, I get it, I get it. Even spelling, like you spell something, if I write something out and spell it wrong, well, did you know what I meant? Yes. Okay. Well, then who cares if I spelt it wrong? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like the language did its job. So I'm not I'm not trying to like enter some spelling competition. You know, just just take it as it is. Um, I'm going to set. Let's see here. 
Anybody here that I might bring in? Okay, you're definitely... I'm going to say you guys are unavailable. We might use you. I'm not sure. Bird, Neil, Ellisley, Blackshaw, Osborne. Unlikely. Actually, Arrested we might try and use as well. He's, he's played well for us in the past. Anybody down here we definitely won't use. I think everybody else is okay. We'll go with that. Loan report. Doing okay. 6.78 rate, average rating. It's not terrible. Looks like Toure got on the uh, uh, team of the week. That's good to see. Um, anything here that I need to de act on? Does not look like it. Looks like Kelleher is not playing that well, according to this as well. Was previously a good, now only a decent one. Rooney, however, playing well. I mean, you know, he's the only striker really getting any goals for us. Him and Gaffney right now. What's this uh, McFarlane? Not doing too good. Um, so Nabby, six to eight days, that's fine. We haven't really been using him, um, which, I mean, I don't obviously want to see my guys injured, but I guess if anybody was going to get injured, I'd rather him <laughs> than one of the starters. It sounds really bad. I don't mean for it to sound that way. Man, getting a win off this one would be huge, huge lift. prove that we can play with the big boys. I mean, we, we've kind of proven that with all the draws we've got, and we, we've proven that we're pretty even with a lot of these guys, but I want to win these. I want to finish these games. Looks like Northampton just beat Dagon Red. That doesn't bode well, because Dagon Red's played... They've actually beaten us twice, and they're down here in 23rd place. That's kind of crazy. Um, but it, the good news, I suppose, is that Northampton will not have as much rest as we will going into this next game. Come on, let's go. Um, Anything here? Just that we've paid the highest fee of anybody, I think. Wow, some people are selling some players for really big money. That's impressive. Bolton picking up both of those. Skybet League One player, or Skybet League One team, paying a combined almost half a million dollars in fees for these two players. That's impressive. All right, scouting meeting. Um... They're going to have potential goalkeeper. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like our current goalkeeper. This guy could be really good as well. Let's go ahead and keep scouting him for now. Uh, players seem like they played. Jared Bird, 9.3 rating. It's good to see. Uh, most vulnerable to facing 4-4-2, which we do not play. Probably could. But, nah, that's fine. Uh, Pritchard. Yeah, we'll remove him from the loan list. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put him on the list. That's okay. And yes, we'll go ahead and offer you guys to loan as well. So I think those are fine. Um, midfielder does not look like he's that good. So we'll just acknowledge that one. It's not good enough for us to pick up. I mean, he could have some potential, but that's all right. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely be swapping in Nathan Phillips in a minute. In fact, we'll go ahead and swap him in now. Just whatever. But we'll probably move some stuff around here in a moment as well. Um... But whatever, I'm not I'm not gonna mess with that right this second. Uh stronger in the middle of the park. Uh be more disciplined. I'm okay with that. Counter press. Uh I think I'm okay with that as well. More defensive and uh less support. Let's go check that out real quick. And we'll go ahead and set up the players the way we want them. All right, Krokum in the goal, of course. Uh Wasi actually played pretty well, all things considered. Uh, especially since um Actually, where's our other guy? Where is he at? Reed, there he is. Actually, Reed's looking okay. So we could probably bring Reed back on for this very important game. Let's go ahead and grab Reed. Swap him back in here. Um, Carl, I think we definitely want to swap Carl out. In fact, I'm actually going to put Phillips over here on the right-hand side. And we'll put uh, Pond back in here. 
So Phillips and Pond as our two go-tos. Looking like a pretty good one-two punch to me. Um, Trey on the left-hand side. If he's got the energy, absolutely. Pritchard, Cole, Matthews. I think those are a good lineup here in the middle. They're playing very well right now. Gaffney, McFarlane, Rooney. I mean, McFarlane's just not doing what I want him to do. Um, what I may do is swap you two guys around and play you more as an advance. Pressing forward, holds up ball, close down more, tackle harder. Really? Yeah, why not? And then Rooney. Get him. Let's do something like that. Uh, try, try something different. Um, I think we want like, a little bit more defensiveness, though. Uh, maybe we're being cool and defensive. Actually, let's play you as a defensive wing back and let's play you as a just straight on as much defensiveness as we can get. In fact, I think I'm even going to put Cole back down here as a defender. Let's go ball winning midfielder. I mean, it's looking a little weak here, but just really trying to close down the defense and just really play for that counter play a little bit, honestly. So I think this is going to be okay. All right, uh, and we do need to swap. Oh, really? Moncrief is entered, injured. Wow. And we have nobody that can swap in for that, right? Nobody. I have to bring somebody off my under squad. So f I think that's a silly rule. <laughs> Whatever rule that is, I don't know how we don't qualify. I mean, I, I, get, I get what it is. It's homegrown at the club. I understand. But it's a little silly. Because what if we had nobody? Could we just never play a game? That, that seems a little, little ridiculous. I guess there's always somebody, but still. Um, last time we picked up Nigel. Obviously, he's not available now. Let's just grab, uh, I don't know, whoever. I don't see if there's anybody here that um, looks better or worse than others. I don't know. Let's try you. Um, it's not contract. Where is it again? Transfer. Squad status. Nope, not squad status. Uh, where is it? I know it's here somewhere. I'm just... Squad. There we go. Move to senior squad. All right. So go back to our tactics. Hoping this guy... Yes, he is. Can swap, swap in here for Moncrief. What is he? Oh, he is actually striker as well. Um... Okay, so we got Doyle in here. We got Kelleher in here. I guess that's okay. Donnelly. I'm going to swap Donnelly out for probably Carl. I do need some more midfielders, though. So let's bring Aresti up. We got Lloyd in case we want to switch to the 424. Dudley in here as an extra striker. Uh, Bird's a little tired, so we don't want to bring him. Okay, I think this is fine. Um, not a lot of support for the midfield, but I think we'll be okay. Everything else looks okay. All right, let's go. Uh, yes, we do face it's difficult. Really? Okay, that might change some things. Let's go check our stuff here in a moment. There's Moncrief taken ill. Wow. Send him to the doctor, yeah. <laughs> Ray Iveson. Uh, okay, we just swapped in. Actually, training really well. It's good to see. Saving game. Come on. Let's go. Ready for this game. So many draws. I cannot believe how many draws we've gotten. It's kind of crazy. Doncaster approach for McKetty. Um, all right, I'll let you make your own decision then. That's fine. It's a very colorful emblem they have there. 
All right, so it's been one, one, one. So it's pretty interesting run of things. Now they're very strong right now. We're just playing out fair with literally nothing but draws to our names, but this would be a really, really good win. Uh, Hogan is on the bench, right? Yes, where's Hogan? There he is. So we should be okay without him. Everything else is looking okay. Honestly, pretty good lineup overall. Uh, Pritchard actually hasn't been playing super well. Is anybody, do we want to bring a Rusty in that spot instead? You know what? Let's bring a Rusty into that spot. Can he play the Carol Carol No, he can't. Let's, uh, I mean, he can technically, but not as well. You know, we'll just leave him in it. We'll see what he can do with it. Um, and submit team. Yeah, one of our team members wants to have a... Oh, oh, yeah. That's right. The guy we just grabbed. I was like, who, who do we have that doesn't have a number? So they're playing 4-4-2. Four, four, it's going to be a tough game, I think. Encourage the team. Let's give the fans a good performance, guys. Very colorful uniforms here, yellow and red. All right, it is another rainy day here. And we are off. Here's hoping we don't give up a goal in the first you know, opening highlight here. Powell pushing the ball up. Oh, trying to get in the way there. Uh, nothing going, unfortunately. Skip over to Jones. Jones, oh, we got it pushed, you know, kicked away from there. There's Phillips already making a name for himself, showing what he's got. Uh, and I think, I was going to say, is that going to be the end of that highlight? No. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Come on, guys. Just, just hold on here. I mean, would I be happy with a draw here? I guess so. But it would be so boring. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, I guess, short pass. Oh, that doesn't really play to the whole counter mentality, but we'll see what happens. I Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Looks like they're getting a uh, possible yellow card here, maybe? Yep, fifth yellow card of the season. Got a free kick here from uh, from Northampton. Um, I'm not exactly sure how Croton didn't get that one. Like, it was like right there. It wasn't even that hard of a ball, I don't think. I just delayed reaction or something. Wow, well that's... That's not how you want to start things off. Come on, guys. Let's not give up stuff on plays like that. Goodness. Facey. Facey could be in trouble. What we got going here? Okay, Facey gets a yellow card as well. Zero shots for us right now. I mean, we are playing, obviously, trying to play a little bit more counter mentality, but so we're trying to make some good shots that count is what is the idea, but well, we may have to swap things up here in a little bit. All right, we got a corner kick here from Matthews. Matthews going to get it in. There you go. Rooney in the right spot at the right time, picking up his 13th goal of the season. And we're all... Hey, big surprise, guys. We are all tied back up. At one shot, one on target, one goal. I mean, <laughs> that's one thing that this formation seems to be doing for us is that when we get goals... They seem to count. Matthews with the corner kick here. Nothing going there. Gaft is able to run back out for that one, though. He's going to get it back over to Matthews on the right-hand side. Matthews kicking it across. McFarland's in the area. Nothing going there, though. Phillips is going to run back, try to pick that one up. Over to Cool in the middle. Cool up to Oresti. Oresti, show why we brought you in here. McFarland trying to, trying to end some goal drought. Actually, I guess he's already ended a goal drought, but he needs some more goals, buddy. Back to Cool. Over to Ture. Ture, and that's the end of that highlight. So we got four shots, only one on target. And there's halftime. I mean, we came back and brought it back up to a draw. So in the end, I guess it was okay. Um, yeah, I'm pleased with how things are going. Keep it up. And um, we brought it back. So we've only given up one goal, and it was off of a um, kind of a, what am I trying to say, set piece type of thing. Gaffney, are you? Nope, not, Gaffney's not able to get to that one, unfortunately. I'm really, sad thing is, I know this is bad, but. I'm, I'm playing at home in front of the home fans, and instead of going for it, I'm just playing not to lose. 
which is why I keep getting draws, I guess. But I'm playing not to lose, and I know that's not a great way to play. But a team like this, I'm really just hoping for an opening. Oh, man, that was a terrible pass, guys. Pal over to Facey. Facey. Matthew's taking it away from him. Over to Rooney. Rooney, you can be able to make something out of this. Arresti. Oh, McFarland trying. Everybody's trying for something. Unfortunately, going for the home runs with a guy standing right in front of you. Not working out. Ture, though, picking it up. Over to Cool. Cool. Back to Ture. Ture's got some space here. Can he find an opening? Back over to Cool. Ture's moved up to the left-hand side. Is he going to try to be able to be up there for a cross? Uh, nope. He's come back again. I was going to... Oh, Arresti gets tripped up there. Jones. Is anything happening? Oh, it's just a warning, apparently. But that was the end of that highlight. Well, that's sad. Oh, McFarland injured. No, we do not want to see that. Um, I mean, can Lloyd play a position over here? Not really. You know, we're going to play him as a deep line forward. Maybe it's, it's not much, if not far off of where he normally is. Maybe he will play okay. We'll see what he does. I mean, maybe we should swap to the 4-2-4. And I probably will here in a little bit if uh, it doesn't look like this is going to do anything for us. Uh, that is our sub for the 60-minute mark. If we get to about the 70-minute mark and nothing's happened, I may, I may change some things up here. whole lot of nothing. Let's do another sub here. I mean, Gaffney's not playing super well right now, but we don't really have many people that can swap in for him. Cole, Arresti, Complacent. No, that's not, I don't like Complacency. Let's bring Pritchard on here. Um, Do I go for it? If I go for it, it could just blow up in my face. Do I go for it? If I were to go for it, I would need to bring somebody on to play on that right-hand side, which would be Dudley, I guess. Or somebody on could be as a striker. No, I'm going to stick to it. I mean, this draw would be an acceptable result, even though it's not a great result. Reed here with a free kick. Over to Pritchard. Pritchard's got some fresh legs here. Over to Cole. Cole going to get it back to Phillips. Phillips. I don't know how well you've been playing today. Hopefully pretty well. Reed over here on the right-hand side. Got some space. Try to get inside. Rooney's in the area. Unfortunately, not able to pick it up. Lloyd, though, able to get over there. He knows how to play this position. Gaffney's in the area. Oh, nothing going. Pritchard, come on, dude. Show me. Ah, oh, nothing going. All right. Got another sub to do here. Man. Okay. Uh, Looks like Phillips 6.9 average. Not too bad. Not too bad. Honestly, I don't know who to sub, what to sub at this point. You know what, we'll play, we'll bring Dudley on for, for that. Well, that's going to be fine. Reed kicking it up. Gaffney's in the area. Gaffney's going to try to get up, try to get over to Lloyd. Lloyd is there. Matthews over to Lloyd. Oh, just kind of a little lob there, but wasn't able to get it past the goalkeeper. It wasn't much power anyway, so that's to be fair. Um, I'm just going to demand more. People are focused after the feedback. Lloyd with the free kick here. Rooney's over there on the right-hand side, or left-hand side, I should say. Oh, Dudley had a chance, just went right of the goalpost. Come on, guys. Five minutes of extra time. Are we going to get another boring draw in this game? Kind of is looking like that's the way it's going to be. We've gotten more shots lately. A lot more possession. Things are looking have been looking better, but just not enough. Cool picking up a yellow card here. And it's going to be a last highlight for Northampton. I'm really hoping this is nothing. Dudley able to pick that one up. Over to Cool. Nine seconds left. Matthews trying to push it up. Dudley's in the area. Dudley, what you can do with it, buddy? Got to do something with it. We're to get the whistle. Reed. I think it's going to be whistle anytime now, right? Cool. Kicking it up. There's the whistle. Oh, man. <laughs> Another draw. Wow. 
I mean, they're points. Don't get me wrong, but wow. You've done well to prove them wrong. I mean, I'll give you that. Drawing against the number two team in the league shows that you can play against the top teams, but it's painful. It, it wouldn't be painful if it wasn't for the fact that we've had nothing but draws. So that's the painful part. Far in 11 days to two weeks. Ouch. That is going to be hard to deal with. Uh, Phillips made his debut. Looks like he probably played pretty well overall. 11 matches in a row with unbeaten. I mean, I'll, that's that's a positive. Don't get me wrong. But wow. Draw, 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 draw. Well, our next game is against Exeter. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Next game is against Lincoln. 13th place. Exeter's third. Um, we got Cheltenham, 12th. Bury, 17th. Crew, Crawley. Um, the next game you guys see will likely be... I want to do something in February. I may just do this Cheltenham, Bury back-to-back. -back. I think that's actually what we're going to do. Technically, this is in January, of course, but uh, that'll be good. Cheltenham and Bury, and then we'll... Uh, be ready for March and see what we'll see how things go. So we'll have two away games, and then you guys will see the game after that. So that's it. I mean, you know, we're not really we're getting so many draws. We were staying relevant, but just still not really getting the position we need to be in the playoffs. But overall, not too bad. I it could be better though. I do appreciate you watching, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.